Hello everyone, my name is Alex, welcome to another episode of Let's Check Out Some iPad. Today we've got Storm the Train, this is brought to you from Chilingo. Um, now, this is a, an endless runner slash shooter, uh, but it's a little bit different than what we're used to. So, um, usually with endless runners, it's, uh, you know, you make it as far as you can, it's not really broken up by levels. Um, and with uh, shooting platform games, it's there's less emphasis on... Uh, uh, progression or distance and, and high score, but more on storyline. So this is a, sort of a combination of both. Uh, and it takes, uh, in my opinion, the best of both. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, so you have three characters to choose from, uh, Mason, Graham, and Carrera. Um, each one has uh, benefits and each one has uh, limitations. So uh, Mason is uh, can take more hits, um, but he's not that fast. Graham, a good combination of both, and Carrera, the opposite. Um, so I've been running with uh, Mason. He's quite good. A little bit of a, an A-team vibe, I believe. Uh, okay, so as you can see, the uh, left and right buttons uh, will move me uh, both left and right. And then we've got shoot and jump. You can jump, double jump as well. And uh, let me just run you through the rest of the screen here. So on the top right, you can see the, uh, the number of uh, coins I have. Uh, the center number is my score, my health, obviously, and then uh, the option screen. So if we check out the options quickly, you can see uh, we can go uh, to the home screen, uh, music and sound effects. Uh, this guy here is uh, you can move your controls. That's a really nice feature because a lot of people uh, don't necessarily like the way it's uh, laid out by default. Uh, you've got game center and uh, some information about the game. It's it's mainly legal stuff. Uh, and you can also see that uh, there's a mission system. So the mission system is very similar to uh, Jetpack Joyride. Again, uh, I bring them up. They've, they've perfected the formula and uh, it has since been uh, emulated many, many times. Uh, so we got uh, Ride the Cylindrical Death Weapon for 50 meters. Uh, collect 150 coins in your underwear. Uh, kill 25 zombies. Uh, 25 in a single game. So, pretty straightforward stuff. So let's uh, see if we can go ahead and do that. Now you'll notice we're not actually in a zombie world. That's because when it starts you off, it starts you off on a random stage. Uh, and this one is the future stage. Um, and the other that I've encountered thus far is the uh, sort of like an undead graveyard type, type of deal. Um, now the first thing you'll notice is how smooth the gameplay is. It's actually really amazing. Uh, if we compare this to Random Heroes, which we reviewed last week, um, it's just, the, the difference is huge, and that was one of my biggest gripes with uh, Random Heroes, was that uh, it looked nice, and it was polished, but it didn't have, it just wasn't exciting, like, you, you, the character moved so slowly, and shooting was slow, and uh, enemies, you know, it took a while for enemies to get to you, and they moved slow, it was just, everything about it was, was kind of um, poorly paced, I believe. Um, this, however, is there's lots going on. Uh, it takes a lot of skill to dodge some of these things. Um, you can see me collecting coins, collecting uh, weapon upgrades. Uh, some the, the weapon upgrades that I'm picking up are uh, the default ones thus far. I haven't unlocked anything else. There's a rifle and an Uzi. Uh, rifle, obviously, higher powered but slower shooting. And uh, the Uzi is uh, faster but less accurate and less damage. What you can see me doing here is uh, running from one train to another. Um, this is sort of the next level, and now we're on the undead level. So I do have a mission to kill 25 zombies, so let's try to do that. With the upgrade system, uh, you can buy different weapons to add to that weapon pool. Um, so again, it's random every time you pick it up. However, uh, if you've got, uh, you know, some of the uh, more powerful weapons, uh, it'll give you a little bit more variety. Now, oop, oh my goodness. Oh wow, he took a lot of damage off me. Um, you can see on the left of the screen, there is uh, a little uh, flying thing, I guess. Wow, he's tough, this guy. And uh, the skeletons do come back alive, and, and the zombies do come back alive sometimes. It's a little bit annoying, but uh, they're not that difficult. Uh, the, were the werewolf guy, on the other hand, he's he's quite hard. Now, 
Um, yeah, as I was saying, this this little thing on my right hand side is kind of like a, and I got taken out. It's kind of like a, um, uh, it's a drone. Uh, so it's like a, a power up that you get once you uh, amass a certain number of uh, kills. Vampire now as well. Wow, this is pretty hardcore. This is uh, much more difficult now than when I started the, the game. I, I guess it uh, slowly gets harder over time. Uh, yeah, so when you un uh, when you kill a certain number of uh, enemies, you get uh, the ability to unlock and use uh, one of these power-ups. And this one here is a drone. It's the one that's uh, on by default. Uh, take this dude out. Oh my goodness, he's a teleporter as well. Wow, they really ramp the difficulty. Uh, and when you use them, they, they benefit you. They, they help you out a lot in combat, which is really nice. So I'll hopefully, if I if I can make it to the boss, uh, I'll show you that in practice. All right, so we got the zombies. That's cool. Ride the cylindrical death something. Oh, and that's what we're coming up to. So that's probably the. Oh wow, it's like a a little vehicle of some description. That is cool. Let's. Oh wow, I've got to not get killed, I guess. And I did. Fantastic. Okay, so we're, we almost made it to the cylindrical uh, death weapon. Uh, it looks like a vehicle which we drive around a bit and, and mow down some enemies, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it does give you a score. It's got online leaderboards and uh, achievements to unlock. Uh, and you can see that um, I have 10 stars. Stars are, you get for completing the missions, and uh, which you can see here. Each, each mission has a star value attached to it. And uh, I've also got 1,800. Uh, coins, so let's go to the shop and see what we can spend our cash on uh, Okay, so each character so I'm using Mason at the moment, but each character as you can see so we've got Graham Mason and Carrera has uh, uh, Like an like an upgrade path of their own which is really really nice uh, Let's have a look at Mason and see what we can do uh, health upgrade uh, We can upgrade the Uzi so uh, increases the stopping power but still sprays bullets all over the place so it's still going to be inaccurate as it was before but uh, it's going to have more more power you, you'll have to fire less in order to take them out uh, rifle uh, upgrade the rifle with heavier rounds resulting in faster demise of your enemies um, and then we've got uh, now we've got assault rifles so standard issue assault rifle and if we buy that it will then get added to our weapon pool uh, shotgun uh, so, if we buy the assault rifle, it is now added to our weapon pool, and, uh, you know, the more weapons you buy, obviously, the, the, the more things you can shoot with. Uh, you've also got upgrades to your gadgets, uh, so the drone that we, uh, we had available before, I didn't actually get a chance to show it off, I will do that. Um, it, we can upgrade the, the power of that, uh, we've got m melee drones, defender drones, Corpse Smashers CDW, that's the Cylindrical Death Weapon, uh, and Jetpack Armor. Uh, now, we can buy stars from the store, so if I wanted to uh, advance further, I can uh, swap my coins for, for stars. As you can see, the exchange rate is quite tough there. This is the shop section, the in-app purchases, so we've got uh, Coin Multiplier, uh, and then uh, all the prices of uh, the individual bags of coins as well. Okay, so let's uh, let's run another one. Uh, okay, so if we if we actually select our um, the uh, the gadget screen, uh, you do have different options available. We can, if we wanted to, buy a drone straight up, and I'll I'll do that just to show you what it's like. Uh, and then we've got uh, we can actually switch characters in game. So if you're taking a lot of damage and you switch out, it could be beneficial. You could last longer. So there's a bit more strategy involved there. So let's grab one of these and uh, start taking out some dudes. <laughs> So as you can see, it's very powerful. Now this is our assault rifle, uh, which is the first time we're using it. It's pretty cool. Uh, and I'd imagine that uh, most of the standard weapons pretty much do the standard amount of things. <laughs> we have more zombies. 
Now, the only thing you get for killing, um, killing the standard enemies is, uh, points. You don't actually get coins from killing normal enemies, which is probably good because you could, you could spend a lot of time just farming, um, you know, just by standing on one side of the screen and, and, and doing this as I'm doing here. Key holder. Okay, get the key from the vampire. Wow. The, the the varied missions in this are quite impressive. Um, it's it's really cool. Wow, this is uh, not easy at all. Come on, there we go. Okay, so we've got the key. We can now rescue the. Whoa! Throwing skulls at me! Oh my goodness! Yeah, this is very tough. Let me stand here, and did that unlock him. Oh, we need more than one key? No, really? Oh, wow. Smash his body. Okay, I'm trying. Uh, how do I do that? There we go. Okay, so we've got another key. Aha, uh -huh, the other key must have to go on the other side. Let's check that out. Yes, it does. Okay. There we go. You freed someone. Very good. It's like a little prisoner of war there. Uh, it looks like he's just going to run away. He's not going to help us at all. Okay, let's move on, see how far we can get. Got the vampire here. Vampires are actually pretty easy to take out. They get stunned quite easily when uh, when you hit them. And the assault rifle is nice. I like it very much. Now, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to make it far enough to show you a boss battle. It'll be pretty cool. The boss battles are random every time you fight them. So, uh, you know, if you're on an undead level, you won't always fight the same one, which is cool. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Okay, take this guy out again. I'm actually uh, really impressed with this. The graphics are really nice. It's it's very easy to play. Like the button layout and the fact that you can move them if you're not happy with them is it's just ideal. It's amazing what they've done. It's a, it's a great job. Uh, you can get a spin attack, which I might do. Um, I think that uh, it's like a little uh, me melee attack in the air, which. Uh, can help you out somewhat. Oh, what's this guy? Well, I don't know, but he's gone now. Okay, so we'll just try to make it to the next uh, train here. Jump from here, yes, I will do that. And it looks like we're going back to the future train, which is fine by me, it's pretty cool. This is uh, full of robots. It's cool music. Uh, you know, good sound effects. Again, uh, with a decent set of headphones, you can really have a great time. Just, uh, just entranced in the quality of this stuff. It's really good. Shielded guy, they're quite tough. I'll just avoid him. Uh, avoiding him probably isn't isn't a very uh, bad move. It's it's probably a smart tactic, especially since they can take you know do so much damage to you. Wow, oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, here's a boss up here. This is cool. All right, so we pick up our Uzi. Uh, we'll activate our drone. <laughs> I like this guy. Um, he doesn't like humans, and that's, you know... Oh my goodness, wow! He took me out so fast, I'm gonna revive. Oh, wow. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, come on. My drone there is, is doing an amazing job. Wow, oops, God. Didn't make it. Well, it was worth a shot anyway. <laughs> um, so as you can see the missions keep rolling in and uh, yeah it's just really fun it's really well done so that ladies and gentlemen is Storm the Train from uh, Chilingo Games thanks very much for joining me I will see you again next time for another episode of Let's Check Out Some iPad